Hello everybody, today we are going to be unboxing the Maxacrane Digital Movie Head. Where this is how the package arrives once it gets to your house. It's nice, compact, and protects everything that's inside. Now we're going to open it up, see what's inside, and then afterwards we'll build it. That way you get an idea of how to build it yourself. So let's open it up. Alrighty, so opening the package here, you can see that we have two cables and a stand. These, this is going to be the power cable, and then it's going to be the communication cable between the head and the touchscreen. And then this one will be the stand for the touchscreen itself that we'll show you a little bit later what it does. Then, after taking this foam off here, you'll see that we have a few parts on the underside protected from all this foam. We have the digital movie head itself. Then we have the two server motors in the top corner here that allow you to control focus and zoom. And then we have the two joysticks here in the middle. And then right at the top here, you can see the beautiful touchscreen. And then finally, in the top corner, we have our power cable and our power supply. So looking inside, you can see right in the center here, we have a few bags. Inside of this bag, you'll see the two knobs for the camera. And then we'll also have a stand that connects the touchscreen to that base that you saw at the beginning. The second bag that we have in the center here is going to be the connection cable between the focus and the zoom server motors. And then lastly, we have something special here. We have different gears that allows for the silver motors to connect to different lenses. And then on the side here, hidden, you can see that we have an extra base, and then we also have some screws and razors to connect it to a dolly or even a crane. All right, and now let's put it together. So as you can see here, everything's pulled out of the box and ready to construct. To begin with, we can go with the stand here, off camera, I already connected the stand so that you don't have to go through the hassle here. We also have an additional quarter and three eighth inch connector so that it can connect to any type of tripod or dongle that's compatible to this stand. So let's go ahead and start building this. First, we grab the touch screen, as you can see here, and it easily connects right to the front of the stand. You just pass the nozzle through and you screw it right in. Awesome. So that stays intact right there, doesn't move anywhere. And then afterwards, we have our two joysticks. To begin with, we have our left joystick that has any type of reassignable control from a two-axis joystick on the front. And on the back here, you could see that we also have a third axis that can be reassigned to any movement you'd like. This guy will be connected right at the front here, very easily placed, and it has the ability to move back and forth for your comfort. So if it's on a table or any type of tripod, it can be easily reassigned and moved to your comfort. On top of that, we have our right joystick, which is going to be another controller at the top here. And if you look in the back, we have our, our focus control, which is a very ergonomic design which allows you to be able to change the focus as you're moving the camera itself. That one will be connected on the right side here. Also able to move around in any position to allow you to find a little bit more comfort when being able to use this on the scene. All right, so next we are going to connect both the joysticks to the touch screen itself. If you move it to the back here, you can see that we have two, three connection points. The right joystick is going to go in the bottom here and just screws in once it connects in, just like that. Then we grab the left joystick and it connects right in the middle connection in the same style as the right one. And then lastly, we have the third connector at the top here, which is the communication cable, which we talked about at the beginning, which will be right on the left here. And that one will connect the touchscreen to the head itself. 
All right, so let's connect the communication cable here. After taking the strap here that allows it to stay nice and controlled, we can turn the screen over and connect it into that third pin at the top there. And lastly, we connect this communication cable to the head itself. This cable itself can go up to 300 feet long, allowing for the controller to be far away from the head and still have all versatility. Moving at the bottom here, you're gonna see two connector points. We're going to have the six pin one, which is going to be the communication pin. And then on the left, there's gonna be a two pin one. That one will be the power supply cable. That's the other long cable that was at the top of the box. A nice feature about this head is that you can pass all the cables right through the middle here, allowing for multiple turns of the head. So let's put the head back over here. All right, and lastly, we have the focus and the zoom server motors, as you can see here. The nice thing about these ones is that they connect directly to the lens. So let's go ahead and connect those. In the center of the head here, you are gonna see a cable that comes out. It's gonna have a silver tip. That one can be connected into any entrance. The system in the inside here allows you to connect any hole and it'll be completely compatible. Then we'll grab the smaller cable that has the exact same connector and that one connect, can connect to the other hole that's on the same server. And then lastly, we'll grab that cable and we'll connect it to any server hole on the focus lens. and that is a server motor connection. Lastly, you can also see that in the head here, there'll be a third cable. That cable itself will also go and connect to the Scarab dolly that we'll show you in a little bit. And lastly, we have different gears. Just by unscrewing this little tip here, you can place these guys right in, connects right in, just like that, and there you go. Now you can connect it to your new lens, and it'll work perfectly. And now we're gonna open the Maxacrane Scarab Dolly. So let's open this guy up. All right, once opening this guy, there's going to be a foam padding at the top, which protects the dolly from all sides. When opening the box here, we can see that we have a few things in the front. We have our cable guide, which allows for the center cables to pass through. That way, the dolly doesn't pass over any cables and there aren't any troubles when moving around. In the center here, we have our timing belt, which allows for smooth movements left and right in the directions that you want. That way we have a very smooth and controlled movement for that camera. And then right in the center of the box here, we have the mother load of it all, the dolly itself, made out of full aluminum, making it a very strong and sound construction. It has 16 wheels that allow it to have a very smooth and controlled movement, which is what we're trying to go for here. And then lastly, we have our track ends here, which allow for the rails to pass through and connect for as long as you want. And then lastly, we'll have the pins at the end here, which allow to connect right at the bottom. That way you can connect your tripods and have the rail go on and on. And that way you have your dolly the way you want it.